Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the new lens flare tool in iClone 8 which can be used to further enhance the lighting in your scene. Lens flares can be used to create more dynamic and immersive environments ranging from dark alleys to deep space. This is an introductory tutorial which will demonstrate the basic concept and structure of the lens flare and how you can use it in your scene. You can add a default lens flare to your scene by simply going up to the create menu at the top. Once you've added it, the main adjustment parameters can be found in the Materials tab of your Modify panel. These are Scale and Brightness, along with your X and Y offsets that determine how the wings of your flare are placed. You can also click and drag on the little white gizmo to adjust the offsets as well. You can also tweak the lens flare color using the color swatch. The color of your lens flare is very important when setting the mood in your scene. The lens flare is a simulation of the refraction process that takes place when a light source enters a lens, and is based on four elements in iClone. The light source is of course the origin of the light. The reflection area simulates the reflection on the lens, and the decoration elements are used to enhance the reflection. Finally, dust adds a final customizable element to enhance the overall effect. In the Lens Flare folder, you'll find an element subfolder that contains a collection of these elements in separate folders so they can be applied in creative combinations. When applying, make sure to drag the element over the main source so it's highlighted in order to combine them together. If you're not sure how to combine the different elements together in a particular scenario, there is also a collection of effect presets for indoor, outdoor, dramatic, and special that you can quickly apply based on your needs. Each template has a combination of elements named according to the scenario that they're suitable for. Let's take a look at how to replace and add elements in your lens flare. If you want to replace everything in your lens flare, first ensure that it's selected, and then choose one of the main effect template effects. In the replacement window, all elements will then be selected by default and all will be replaced unless you deselect one or more. In the Elements subfolder, you can select individual elements to replace. In this case, I'm selecting a separate light source. Once I do, I can deselect the other three elements in the confirmation window and then only that one element will be replaced. I'll try the same thing for a reflection element only this time I'm going to choose Add instead of Replace for our reflection. If I do this, an additional reflection element will then be added to the one that we already have. You can do this as many times as you want to get a more complex lens flare. You can then add a nice IBL map in the background to simulate a lens flare coming from the sun on your IBL image. Okay, finally we're going to take a look at aligning and auto-creating lens flares from lights in our scene. Here we have a street light prop, and we're going to create a lens flare which will align with the attached spotlight. The first thing I'll do is bring in this Polaris lens flare preset from the lens flare pack which you can find in the content store. It doesn't matter where we place it because as long as it's selected, we can use the Align To tool and then select the spotlight in order to synchronize the position. In this next scenario, I'm going to apply multiple lens flares to multiple street lights. First, I'll bring in this Pale Street Light Lens Flare template. In the Attributes tab of the Modify panel, you'll find an option under the Effects section to auto-create lens flares from scene lights. Here you'll see all the lights in your scene. We can choose Select All, and then hide our original lens flare, which makes things a lot quicker and easier when dealing with multiple lens flares. That's about it for this introductory tutorial, guys. Please be sure to check out our other two lens flare tutorials for more features, and I'll see you in the next video.